Okay, so. Great. Thank you so much. Okay, I think this is on all right. Um, hopefully. Okay, good morning and welcome to the all new flexibility, which is now going to be strength, the fountain of youth program. Okay, we are not going to be using mats anymore. We did take a poll. People don't like them. Uh, we have not been able to get enough people able to get up and down from mats since COVID. Uh, so we are going to eliminate uh, the mats. So we are going to be using some props in this class that you can use at home. I'm not going to start them today, but I will start them next week. And what you're going to need if you don't have one of those uh, exercise balls is a roll of toilet paper. That's all. And some weights. Uh, today, we're not going to be using either, but we want to go ahead and get all of those muscle groups strengthened so that you can be flexible and have enough energy and flexibility for your activities of daily living. All right, so let's get started with our warm up. Do I got any questions here from in participants? People? Okay, so we're going to be doing some exercises um, recommended by Jeff Howard and Kelly Roberts, who are premier instructors with my certifying body, SCW. I think they're particularly good, and uh, I think they're going to be great for a cross-section of the population, whether you have exercised a lot or a little. So let's get started. First, let's oxygenate the muscles by planting the feet flat on the floor, lifting in the ribs, and inhale up. And I'm Diane. I will be leading you through this session. And reach. Exhale down. Inhale. Reach. And exhale. Inhale, reach, and exhale. Let's get the side of the body stretched. Inhale up and reach over to the side. Exhale down. Other side, inhale, take it over, reach up, exhale down. One more time on the other side. Inhale, stretch, exhale, other side. Make sure you sign in and over and exhale. And reach forward. Lift, pulling the stomach in against the spine. Exhale down. And reach forward, inhale up, 
and exhale down. Let's get the rib cage moving. So you're going to place hands here or on your chair arms, whichever you prefer. And we're going to slide the ribs to each side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stretch the ribs forward. Now contract against the back of the chair. So you may want to go ahead, sit up at the front of the chair, push the chest forward, and contract back. Stretch forward and contract back. Those of you with advanced osteoporosis, eliminate this one as it can uh, crack your spine. All right, so now we're going to start hip flexors. Lift two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Feet at ten and two position and lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stretch the leg in front and lift, warming up the water sets. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other side and lift. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Stretch back, warming up the knees. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, now we've got a hand up at dorsiflexor that's right here at the ankle. Very important that that muscle is strengthened because your ankle is the strongest bone in your body. So flex and point. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, other side, flex and point. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, we're going to lift on the toes, bring the heels down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. All right. Move the feet slightly forward, lift the toes and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Put out the cigarette butt, wiggle that foot, other side, other side, tap on to the toes, tap and Put the cigarette butt out. All right, now we're going to windshield wiper out and in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, heel, heel, toe, toe. And I want you way up on tippy toe for that. Heel, heel. Toe, toe, heel, heel, toe, toe, heel, heel, toe, toe, and heel, heel, toe, toe, and down. All right, let's start warming up wrist, hands, fingers. Clench and stretch. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take it up. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. To the sides. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take it down by the sides. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Play the piano. And 
Play the piano to the other side. Again, wiggle those fingers. And go. Hold the hand up. I'm coming closer to the screen so you can see what I'm doing. And one, two, three, four, five. Up, two, three, four, five. Down, two, three, four, five. Up, two, three, four, five. Down, two, three, four, five. Up, two, three, four, five. Other hand and over here. Down, two, three, four, five. Up, two, three, four, five. Down two, three, four, five. Up two, three, four, five. Down two, three, four, five. Up two, three, four, five. Clench, circle, slow. One, and full circles. Two, three, and four. Reverse, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so now we're going to start warming up that shoulder girdle. Those of you that have rotators, uh, cuff tears, or have a shoulder replacement, uh, be gentle with yourself. Don't do something if you don't think it's going to work for you. All right, so we're going to uh, be flat on the floor, stay here, stretch the arm to the side. We're going to take it out across the body and hold two, three, four, bring it up slightly, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, and out, two, three, four, across, hold, three, four, lift, one, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, up, out, two, three, four, other side, and reach out, cross the body, one, two, three, four, lift, one, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, and out, two, three, four, cross, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, and out, two, three, four, other arm out, and let's circle those shoulders. One, two, three, four, reverse, five, six, seven, eight. Now this one, I'd like you to stand for it. So we're gonna to come to the side of the chair. And we're going to hold the hands down at the side of the body. And you're just going to press the shoulders to the back wall. So from here, it's gonna look like this. Press back and center. Back, center. Three, four, Five, six, seven, just press it back. Eight, you don't have to roll it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, so we're going to do a little combo now. So this is going to involve bending down to the floor. So let's warm up the spine and the quadriceps. We bend two, three, four, hold and loosen the arms, bend the knees and up, two, three, four, and bend, two, three, four, hold it, dangle the arms, and release up, two, three, four. All right, so now we're going to place the feet apart because we want that stability. So the closer your feet are together, the less stability you have. So anytime you feel like you might lose balance doing something, place your feet apart so that you have a good stable base. All right, we're gonna bend down, dead man's lift, up to the here, to the waist, Shoulder, shoulder, now you can hang on here. 
foot and foot. Okay, so if you want to do that behind the chair, you can, placing one hand on the chair for better stability. All right, ready? Bend, lift, shoulder, shoulder, foot, foot. 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 Okay, and eventually what you wanna do is eliminate this kind of thing where you're bending to the foot. You want to be able to lift in that hip flexor, bring the foot to the body. All right, so now we are going to cross at the wrist, three, four, upright row and upright row and one, two, three, four, upright row, upright row. One, can I take it up this time and down, two, three, four, upright row, upright row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, upright row, upright row. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, upright row, upright row. Let's do two more and one, two, three, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four rows up, down, up, down, three, and four, and cross, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, upright row, three, and four. Okay, so now we're going to do some windmills. These are very good for the shoulder area, upper back, and chest. So we're going to cross over to one hip. We lift, lift, down. Now bring the other hand over to the other hip, and you can feel that shoulder engaging. And one, two, three, hip, up, two, three, hip, up. 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 Two, three, and hip. Very good. All right, so now we're going to do some rainbows. We're going to involve bending the knees a little bit. We bend, we scoop, take it over to the other side and bend. And lift. And bend. Lift. And bend. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. All right, now this time, we are going to do something on the transverse plane. Transverse means that you twist and bend. All of this is necessary for activities of daily living. All right, so we're going to twist, then pick up an object, take it up and down. Other side, twist, bend, pick, Lift over to the other side, twist, bend, lift over to the other side, and twist, bend, lift over to the other side. Two more, twist, bend, lift, bring it over and twist, bend, lift, bring it over. All right, so. We're going to turn palms up. And remember, every time you switch the position here, hammer curl with fingers facing each other or away from each other, pinky leading, thumb leading, you get different muscle groups. So we're going to hold those palms up. We lift the shoulder and down. 
you need some strength, like you are having to lift something heavy and press it down. Two, three, straighten your arm. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Other side, palm up, straight arm to the shoulder and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Both hands, palms up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, now flip the palms down and we lift like somebody's got something heavy on your arm. You've got to lift it up and press it down. Two, good, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Both arms, one, two, three, four, five. Remember, keep pressing. Six, don't let them dangle. Seven and eight. Okay. We're going to sit back down for this one. Now we're going to work on those triceps. So I want you to place your back firmly against the back of the chair. Interlace the fingers, lift up and take it to the shoulder and lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, now take one hand, palm is going to face you and pulse. Two, pat your back. Three, four, five. Take that elbow up. Seven, eight. Other side. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All righty. Now we're going to bend one elbow. We're going to take the arm out to the side and touch the elbow, lift, touch the shoulder, and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, then the other elbow. Arm to the side, bring it over, touch the elbow and lift, touch the back and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, <clears throat> and eight. Okay, so that's good for tricep, shoulder area. Now we're gonna stretch in the upper chest and back area. So we're gonna come forward in the chair. So you're sitting at the edge of the chair. And we are going to take the arm out and up, come over to the other shoe, swoop down, lift up, and over, swoop, over to the other side, lift, and three, swoop, lift, four, swoop, lift, five, swoop, lift, six, swoop, lift. All right, last two, we're going to press that shoulder to the back, look at the hand. And we're going to start a series of six of those. Ready? And 
over, swoop, up, turn the shoulder back and look, and down, swoop, up, turn it back and look, and down, swoop, lift, turn it back, down, swoop, lift, turn it back. I think that's five, swoop, lift, and back, and six, swoop, lift, and back. And of course, you're also getting upper and lower abdominals on that one. Are we getting warm? Yes. Good. That means that synovial fluid is pushing through those muscles and joints, helping you to be more flexible, which is the aim of the class. All right, other side. Lift, swoop over. Now swoop back and just lift. And two, swoop, lift. Three, swoop, lift. Four, swoop, lift. Five, swoop, lift. And six, swoop, lift. All right, now this time we're going to add the shoulder coming to the back. And swoop down, over, up. Turn the shoulder back, look at the hand. And down, swoop. Up, turn it back, look, and down, swoop. That's three, four, five, six, and back. All right, very good. We got our heart rate up a little bit on that one too, which is good. Now we're going to stand by the side of the chair. We're going to hold the hands up here. And if you need to, just keep one hand on the chair for support if you don't feel stable. We are going to do a reverse lunge with the outside leg. And then we're going to come and press the shoulder, come back, down, center, lift, shoulder press, and down, down, center, shoulder press, down, center, shoulder press, down, center, shoulder press, if you need it here, down, center, Shoulder press, last one, down, center, shoulder press. All right, we're going to do that on the other side with the other leg. So your outside leg is going to be going back into a reverse lunge. We bring it center and shoulder press. All right, so hand here or on the chair. Ready, back, center, press, and back, center, press, and back, center, press, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, now we are going to go in the frontal plane, which means we're going to be working side to side. And you can now hang on to the uh, back of the chair if you want. We're going to squat, bring it center, squat, bring it center. Make sure that the hips are pushed fully to the back. I don't want knees coming forward like this. It's back. You can do a baby squat. You can do full squat. Whatever you feel you're comfortable with at this point. Ready? Interlace the fingers. Elbows up. 
squat and center. Two, three, pull the tummy in against the spine. Four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, other side. Ready and squat and center. Two, push that hip to the back like you're going to sit in a chair. Four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, now we are going to go on the diagonal. Hand on chair, practice it first. One hand on hip, diagonal, push back. Diagonal, push back. Diagonal, push back. All right, those of you that can, hands here. Diagonal and center. Two, uh, Marcella, you're going to the side. I want you to go with a diagonal. So you're gonna be going up here. Okay, this is you're going to the side, and I want you here. Okay. okay, ready? I think I was four. Good. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, if you're using the chair, come over to the other side. Hand on chair, head for the diagonal. One. Two, you don't need it. Three, don't bend the chest down. Four, lift it up. I don't care how low you punch. Six, seven, eight. All right, it's not about the lunge per se. You just want to get that quad active and moving. All right, so we have done to the back, to the side. Diagonal. I'm not going to do front position because it's determined that that isn't particularly good for seniors to do front lunges. All right, so now we are going to do back side diagonal with the chair. Back side diagonal. That's it. Again, back, side, diagonal. All right, if you can, here we go. Number three, side, push that hip back on the side. Four, side, diagonal, back. Side. Concentrate on what you're doing. Don't get sloppy with them. Seven. And eight. All right, so we've got quads. Our stomach is toning up on that one too because we're using the stomach muscles. Pull back. All right, other side. Again, use your chair or not with the chair. Back. Now push that hip back. Side. Diagonal. All right. Otherwise, here. Two. Side. Diagonal. Three. Side. Diagonal. Four, five, diagonal, five, five, diagonal, six, five, diagonal, seven, five, diagonal, last one, eight, Side, diagonal. You made it. 
Very good work on that. You should have got your heart rate up a little on that one too, which is always good. All right. So now we're going to do one where we lift. We're going to open up, abduct here, place the foot down. So you're in a quasi bend here and you're going to press that other arm out. So it's going to look like this. Lift, abduct, take it to the back. Now take that arm, same leg here and arm, press and center. We lift, abduct, bend, stretch, center. Lift, Abduct, bend, stretch, center. Now notice when I am stretching across, I turn that foot, I take the pressure off of it. So the foot turns in with the arm as you reach across. All right, have we got it? Let me see. Kind of. Uh, kind of? Kind of. Okay, I'll go over it again. Lift the leg, you abduct it to the side. You're going to take it to the back, squat, pushing those hips to the back. We grab here on the chair arm. We turn the foot in and we stretch the arm across the body and come back to center. Again, lift, abduct. Take it back, push the hip back, turn the foot in, cross the arm, and center and together. Okay, ready? I want to see you do it. <laughs> I can't see you. You can cheat all over the place if I take my back to you. All right, ready? We lift, we abduct, we take it back. So you are back away from the chair here. That's it. You push the hips to the back. You bring the foot in. You stretch across the body. Okay. In order to bring that foot in. See, I, I don't really want you here. It's, you have to lift on that foot. Then twist it in. And stretch. All right, ready? Lift, back, twist the foot in, reach across the chair and center. Lift, abduct, take it to the back here, you're facing this wall, push it back, bring it up, twist the foot in, Reach across and center. All right, it's pretty good. Let's try it on the other side. Any questions on that one? You're going in a lot of different directions on that, getting a lot of muscle groups. All right, so other side. We lift, we abduct the leg. Now turn your back to the chair. Squat, bring it center, turn the foot in, cross the arm, and center. We lift, abduct, turn your back to the chair, squat like you're going to sit in a chair, come center, turn the foot in, reach across the body, and center. Lift. Abduct, back to chair, squat, come center, turn the foot in, reach across the body and center. Let's do one more and lift, abduct, take it to the back, push, bring it center, turn the foot in, reach across the body and center and inhale up and exhale down. 
that gets you in transverse plane, sagittal plane here, frontal plane, uh, I mean, no, transverse plane with a twist. So these are things that are going to help you with activities of daily living. Don't give up on this because it will get easier. Um, next week, I'm going to ask you to bring your TheraBand. Um, if you don't have one, you can get one in the gym office. I believe uh, Jennifer is there today. She can help you with a TheraBand. And we will also use some weights. This will not be like a strength class. We will be using those things as a prop. I will also have uh, some uh, workout balls that we're going to use. Uh, if you at home want to, don't have a workout ball, you can get a roll of toilet paper. That'll work just as good. Uh, so preferably one of the thicker rolls of toilet paper. So we, uh, and again, you do not have to use any of those props that I'm going to be integrating in. So now we're going to end with a little bit of abdominal work and obliques on the side and upper and lower. So let's have a seat for that. We're going to come all the way up to the edge of the chair because we want to be able to bend back enough to engage those upper and lower abdominals. All right, hands interlaced, brace them on the breastbone here. We go back, two, three, four, up, two, three, four. Take it back, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, back, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, back, two, three, four, up, two, three, four. All right, now feet are going to be together. We take it back, two, three, lift, center, up, back, two, three, lift, center, pull up. And as you see, you're using that core to pull you back and forward. Lifting the leg is an additional a stomach strengthener. Ready? Back. Two, three. Lift. Center. And up. Back. Two, three. Lift. Center. Pull up. All right. Feet apart. One, two, three, four. Up. Two, three, four. Back. Two, three, four, up, two, three, four, back, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, and back, two, three, four, up, two, three, four. Feet together. One, two, three, Pull up. Good. One, two, three. Lift. Down. Pull up. One, two, three. Lift. Down. Pull up. And one. Whoops. Two, three. Lift. Down, pull up, hands on shoulders, feet about hip width apart, twist, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, big wide legs on the toes, twist, Bring the elbow to the knee, or yeah, that, that one there, your right elbow. 
That's it. Bring right elbow to the left knee. That's it. And it's just, you know, as far as you can go. We twist, we drop, we lift, twist, drop, lift, twist, drop, lift, twist, drop, lift. Bring it to center position. Let's stand. Feet wide apart. Inhale, back stroke. Two. Three, four, breast stroke, one, two, three, four, swim, two, three, four, inhale up, shift the weight, bring the foot to close in. And that's class. I want to thank all of you for coming out today. Uh, for those of you tuning in, we did feel that this class needed to be revised because so many, I mean, we had prior to COVID 50 people in this class at times, and they were doing tremendous stuff on the mats. That all went by the wayside during COVID. People have uh, been ill with COVID, um, experienced physical challenges within the past three years that make it not so easy to get up and down from a mat. So I'm going to continue with this format. I would love any suggestions from you. Uh, those of you virtual, please call the center. I think you'll have fun when we start adding next week, we'll have some weights and exercise balls. And um, I, I'm going to get the same muscle groups as I do on the mat. It's just not going to be as difficult to get up and down. So um, join me now at 10 o'clock for seat. Supported Exercise for Ageless Training. This is one of the best classes you can do each week if you can't get to any other because it comprises balance, strength, flexibility, posture, a whole range of things, cardio. It's all cardio. The whole thing is cardio. It is seated in a chair. You're going to burn 650 calories. So it's a very important class. It's going to challenge you a little bit mentally too. So I advise that. Um, next week, I will be with you 9 a.m. Tuesday, chair yoga, and 10 o'clock, what has become a very popular class, the arthritis prevention and agility class, where we use a lot of props. That one, I can't do virtual. So come into the center. Wednesday, TheraBand, and we'll be taking some new moves for TheraBand. Uh, that's at 9 a.m. 10 a.m. is Senior Strength and Balance with Weights. Uh, and then second half of the class is Balance. Thursdays, 9 a.m., we're calling it now Strong Body Fountain of Youth, and 10 o'clock, Seat. So if I don't see you at 10, have a wonderful day and weekend. Enjoy our warmer weather and take care, everyone. Uh, those of you that um, 